$122,000. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, your boy, Awam Kenneth. And if this is your first time on my channel, please subscribe, hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button so that YouTube, the YouTube algorithm gets to recommend this video um, to more people. And please stick to the end of the video, right? So um, as you can tell by the title, this video has to do with the highest paying job that doesn't require a college degree. And this video is kind of true to a certain point for me especially because I don't have a university degree and I have been able to somehow, somehow make sense of life without a university degree. Although I'm trying to get one right now, but that's beside the point. So without further ado, let's get into the first job you can um, get started with without a college degree. And that will be being a web developer slash programmer, um, whatever title fits you. As far as you are programming, you are using one of the programming languages that exist right now in the world, I think you'll be good. Um, reason being is that there's a lot of demand for people who are well-versed and highly skilled in programming languages such as JavaScript, React, um, let's say React Native, Python, SQL, um, HTML could be in demand, but HTML is kind of like the basic, so people just tend to overlook it. Um, so there are other languages out there. PHP, for instance, Java, almighty oh Java, how dare I forget that? Um, and other um, programming languages that are also in-depth. So if you really want to go into programming, I suggest you do your research and find out which programming language speaks best to you. So as a web developer, you can end in ranges. Um, the lowest range could be from $12,000 to about $40,000 and you could have a mid range from about $50,000 to over $100,000 and then the executive, you know, the CEO developer um, range from over $100,000 to a million to a billion if you are a founder of a tech startup, okay? lucky you um so that's that for um web developers or programmers so the next job on the list has been a real estate agent and the median salary is around fifty thousand dollars right and all you need in terms of education could be a high school diploma or certificate that's from a secondary school right high school or and also a real estate license so this depends on where you live currently so you have to go and find out what the local requirements is for your current place or of residence right and basically real estate you basically have to love sales and talking to your fellow human being you know interacting with human beings should be a priority and something you love doing if not you be frustrated and trust human beings to you know treat your ups <laughs> right um so that is that about being a real estate agent next on the list is something that i'm sure a lot of you might not have heard of or some of you are familiar with it's called a boiler maker so if you are interested in building um boilers and you have some kind of like mechanical installation background or you're passionate about that then boiler maker is a job for you and the median salary is tend to be around fifty thousand dollars also and it's said to be that there are more than 6,000 jobs available in a year estimated for being a boiler maker and if you tend to want to travel out to let's say countries like Canada or the US um, those jobs are in high demand okay but in let's say third world countries Jobs like this might not be necessarily high in demand, except if you have a certificate as an engineer or a mechanical engineer, okay? Now, this other job is quite controversial, especially if you live in third world countries. Uh, this is being an electrician, right? So in Western countries, this is a very high paying job. It has a median salary of over um, $50,000 and could be more if you own your own, let's like, say, agency or workshop in a way um so if working with wires packs your interest sorry bad joke um then electrician could be the right job for you especially if you are planning on leaving a third world country um it's good to just like have the skill in your bag as you are boarding that plane to canada okay so um yeah you could make more money being an electrician in a more developed country than you would in uh, a developing country due to the fact that labor is cheap 
right? But in a developed country, labor is not cheap. And things like this are very, very expensive in developed countries. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And following up electricians, rights in second place would be plumbers as another controversial job, right? So in Nigeria, being a plumber, that has been looked down upon as like it's not a very high paying job or it's not seen to be a very high paying job but in essence it could be if you get a massive contract right but on a day-to-day -day basis being a plumber doesn't really make sense for a lot of nigerians right but in a developed country again like i would stress on so in countries like us and canada um or western developed countries um you could make serious box as a plumber and you need to pass through different levels of certification depending on the country you reside in so be it us or canada or the local states of the particular country right and some of these jobs you might look down you might look down on them but they are actually big time jobs and could be very hard to get into so like you could easily get let's say a police job but you could not easily get a plumber certification or a plumber association to become a plumber or something, something like that right so i would recommend you look into this if you do not want to go to school right um being a plumber could be your next big break okay so next on the list is to be a registered nurse and wait for it there are over um, a million jobs projected for registered nurses in 2021 ongoing like um so this is a very very good field to also get into um you possibly need an associate degree to get into being a registered nurse in some developed countries and the median salary um for a registered nurse is around $65,000 so a lot of Nigerians that tend to travel out or move or relocate tend to try to become a registered nurse right and next thing you know they are building houses and mansions in the village in their home countries <laughs> okay next on the list with a hundred and twenty two thousand dollars is air traffic controllers i never knew that you didn't necessarily need a degree for this so this came as a shocker and i was like wow all you need is sort of like an associated degree um in some countries uh, i'm not sure of other countries like let's say the entire world i don't think this will be practiced everywhere and i feel like for this particular job uh, if you have more qualifications the better for you right but it's said to be um a very demanding job you work uh, nights and weekends and basically just demanding but you get rewarded with a high median salary okay so go forth and control the traffic <laughs> <laughs> lastly we have police officers police is your friend okay um so the median salary for being a police officer in a western country is $65,000 and it has a higher growth percentage than being an air traffic controller right so um you get to grow in your position as a police officer than you would um in like let's say being an air traffic controller right so as you obviously know being a police officer is very very demanding and it could also be rewarded in countries like nigeria but that being said it's also a good job protecting people, keeping us safe while we're sleeping or going for events or creating content like this, right? So it's a very, will I say, rewarding job financially. And also, you know, you're creating impact. You're having a positive change in your society. So that is also a good job to consider. And this was one of the jobs also I was like, ooh, I didn't know you didn't need a university degree. But I thought about it and I was like, yeah, the, the importance of a university degree for a police officer isn't really there. You might need project management, you might need some cyber criminal, you know, courses or something like that to just improve on your skills, right? Okay, so yes, so these are the highest paying jobs that I could find and research on um, that you could get started with without a um, college degree. And the one that speaks to me the best or the most is being a web developer. 
I have been trying to learn how to become a programmer for ages, man, for like five, seven years right now. And I feel like I'm not just being dedicated to it. Um, programming is something that needs your attention. You know that TikTok video, give me attention, give me attention. Um, programming needs your attention like a baby and you need to like just give it all you have to be able to be very well versed in it. Um, and it's an ever changing job. So by the time you've you got into it, there would have been a, a very different platform. People are learning TypeScript. Some people are learning React days ago. So now you have to like learn React and TypeScript. If you're a programmer, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, just do your research. And I've seen friends and very high salaries and it has been rewarding for them. So, and there's a lot of demand on being a web developer. So that one, I could stress on you um, to learn how to become a developer today and just grow, but nonetheless, still explore other opportunities. And if school is not for you, okay, it's good. You are being validated by me because I left school, but I'm currently going back um, because I just need it, especially for like for travel and just get a visa. <laughs> it's something that you should know. So always make your research to know like the disadvantages of not going to school, of not getting that degree. Um, for some countries, the disadvantages will not be that high, but for some other countries, it will be high. So uh, just put that into perspectives. And most of the jobs I listed here would work best in a developed country than in an underdeveloped country, right? Absolutely due to the currency rates and currency conversions. So a $50,000 median salary job will make more sense than let's say you earning 3 million naira or 4 million naira in a year in Nigeria, okay? And all those median salaries were annually, um, so not monthly, nobody's paying $50,000 to be a police officer <laughs> every month. <laughs> it's not just gonna happen, except you are highly ranked or you're a senator. <laughs> that's an advance, that's a joke. But nonetheless, um, I hope this video made sense to you and hopefully like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, see you in my next one. Stay safe, guys.